uh, these environments and how they work, it's it's very different to how things were traditionally. If you think traditionally, uh, you know, most of most of your attack surf is set in an, in a data center that you you know rented space or you owned, and you had an IP range, and every asset was assigned to an IP in that range, and that was that that was your attack surface, um, at least from an external perspective, and that was pretty easy to manage. Nowadays, with cloud um, and and modern architectures, it's a lot more nuanced. Um, you know, we've spoken about this in the past. I know Shubs, you've got an interesting perspective on how a lot of tools handle the modern architecture, like um, particularly with CDNs and things like that and how a lot of tooling fails to provide deeper visibility and actual visibility into the attack surface. Yeah, that's right. I think these days, if you're not really accounting for your attack surface when it comes to cloud and CDN, uh, you're really missing out on a really large chunk of what your real attack surface is. With how modern architectures work, uh, where it does require you to provide a host header or a TRS SNI uh, in order to interact with the host itself, um, scanning just via IP addresses is just simply not sufficient. When you scan just via IP addresses, you're potentially not being routed to the real application that's um, that's present on that host. And as a result, you're actually missing a ton of attack surface. That's why at Asset Note, when we built our, our attack service management platform, we were very uh, deliberate in our decisions on how we treated assets, different classes of assets, the different discovery mechanisms, and how we ultimately scan these assets for security exposures. All of these things were very, very deliberate, specifically for this very modern architecture that we see day to day now uh, in, in, in any environment in the wild. Um, and this is not something that's slowing down. Um, you know, what we've seen, uh, especially from internal data and statistics that we have, is companies are just adopting more and more CDN products, more and more cloud products. There is this huge shift that is happening where IP-centric approaches just no longer are sufficient when it comes to scanning and, and, and attack surface. And as we see this shift, we're seeing uh, an also a very interesting trend where subdomain data is the best data that you can possibly have because it has that additional context of which host and which underlying application you're going to hit as a result of hitting the subdomain directly. So yeah, it's, it's really interesting. But yeah, I agree with you. I think that you know that, that there's definitely a huge gap in a lot of solutions out there when it comes to an IP-centric approach.